Junpei, which door do you want? Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. Now we're back with 999 part 17. So, to recap. <sighs> we just went through, I can't look at the flow chart. We'll look at it in a second. We just went through uh, door five. We went through the first class cabin and the casino. And now we are choosing to go through door eight, which is the last numbered door we have not been through in our combined playthrough. That's right. I'm very excited. I. Here's the big announcement, guys. Drum roll, please. I think I'm going to go with door eight. Oh my god. Okay. Eight it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, then. That means June's got to go through seven. What? Why? Here's where he explains the same thing. What? If the six of us are going to keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven. Yeah, four, so you get four, it. Or, or no other or, combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Uh, a long time. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. <laughs> Silly goose. We got to split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yeah. Yes. Promise? <sighs> nope. You guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Cool. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? So we're gonna go through with Clover and Lotus. Yeah. When we went it's through door open. seven, uh, we went through with uh, Clover and seven. It's interesting. So we are with Clover either way. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're with Clover unless you go through door three, obviously. Right. <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> 81 seconds left. Hurry! <laughs> They're just like, and we're just, we're done with the whole dead panic it thing. stopped. But we're still going to say Pointless. these things. <laughs> Pointless. What an unpleasant girl. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. All right. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. <laughs> Too late now. I better catch up to them. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. There's a door in the left, though. A laboratory? Huh. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either, but there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Junpei. Huh? Please, you first. Mm -hmm. Ugh, fine. You know, I think the window looks into another room. Maybe it's for monitoring something. What the hell? Ugh, it looks so creepy. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Ooh, uh. It's creepy either way. You don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. <sighs> Stop it. 
Just thinking about it is terrifying. Wait, where's Clover? <laughs> what is she? Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? I, I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Well, I, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay, then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Something happened to him! Something... something bad. Yeah. What happened? Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, wait! Clover! Hold on! That way is... I told you to leave me alone! Clover, watch out above you! What the heck? What's going on here? Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. Damn it! It's not moving. Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No, I'm not giving up. This has got to be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's got to be a way to open it. Just what I was thinking. Now all we got to do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're going to have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. All right. So Clover's stuck in with the robot. She Clover's in here. Okay. There's the door that shut. These are windows. And then Lotus and I are in this area. Okay. So yeah. Junpei, do something, please. <laughs> Can't even see her. Okay. <laughs> Well. Ethanol. I wonder if this is for intercept antisepsis. Oh, it says anhydrous ethanol. Anhydrous? Is that different from the regular ethanol? Come on, that's common knowledge. Anhydrous ethanol is a powerful cleaner. It can even erase marks left by a permanent marker. Come on. Come on, Junpei. Don't you know how many petals a lotus has? Duh. Duh, eight. But it doesn't. It's fine. Don't you know the difference between dinner plates and soup plates? Duh. <laughs> Don't you have all the same knowledge I have? Duh. Yeah. These lockers are a little larger than the ones on top. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. And no, nothing. A whole bunch of steel lockers. The nine on the right all have little red lights on them. Red lights, huh? Well, can't hurt to give these babies a try. Yep, just as I thought. Lock tight, all nine of them. I wonder if there's anything important in there. Probably. Probably, uh, they're cardboard boxes. There's some papers and stuff in them. What's in the boxes? They look quite full. As far as I can tell, it's a bunch of notes about some kind of experiments. But it's all really technical and... stuff. I don't really get it. Okay. This is the computer. Thanks, mm -hmm. Junpei. Mm -hmm. The power isn't on. Well, there is a power button. Oh this is a waste of time. What? I don't see a power cable. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No power cable. This thing isn't even connected to a main computer, though. It's got a monitor, keyboard, mouse. But that's it. Just sticking the power cable in isn't going to do anything. Oh, I don't know about that. Huh? Uh... 
Hmm. The keyboard. The mouse. Okay. All right, well. Oh wow, now this is a computer. This is a keyhole. This looks like a keyhole for the activation key. Okay. I think this thing's supposed to power that machine in the other room. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder how we're supposed to turn it on. This is a really old type of keyboard. It's not that old, <laughs> looks like. It's from like the 90s. Wow, that's so old. It's super old. The hands on the clock have stopped moving. The clock may stop, but time goes on. No time to screw around. We need to figure out a way out of here. Thanks, Junpei. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how we could use any of these. Hmm. Well, I can say for sure that I do not know how to use at least one of these things. Oh, which one? Your brain. The one on top. I think it's a power cable. The power cable, huh? Put two and two together. I'll take that. This is definitely a power cable. Do you remember if we ran into anything that didn't have power? <laughs> <laughs> this monitor doesn't have a power cable. So one end of this cable needs to be connected to a monitor. And the other end needs to plug in under the desk. All right, let's just slip you in. Uh-huh. Well, shoot, uh, I can't use this. What's wrong? This cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to change the power cable to one with two prongs. They also love to say, in other words, every two seconds. Yeah, they do. In other words. In other words. In other words. In other words. That's right. In other right. words. Yeah. In other words, that's right. Okay. Oh. This looks like the control for some kind of electric lock. The red light is on. Then it's gotta be locked. There's a green light just below it. Although that one isn't lit. I bet it'll turn on if we can unlock it, right? Yes, but how are we going to unlock it? <laughs> There's no keyhole, no card reader, and no keyboard for putting in a password. Hmm, I have no idea. I love how she's just like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is like this is like a control panel for an electronic door lock. There's a red light on the display. That means it's locked. We can get that light to turn green. Maybe we can get Clover back. So this is the this is the door that opens to Clover's room on the map. Oh, uh, that's the other door. So, okay. So yes, yeah, so that's the other door. Ooh, gotcha. Clover, mm. you have better be looking around in there. Oh. Is this, like, an examination table? There's a creepy mannequin in here, guys. I don't remember how she talks again. There's a creepy mannequin in here, guys. Oh, it's it's kind of more like that. I can't do it, obviously, but... Hey, uh, Clover, how are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? Does the plug have three prongs or two? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. Guess she does have to kind of crouch down to get a look under there. The cable on the monitor has, uh, it's got two of those little metal thing thingies. What does that mean? <sighs> That's it. Okay, can you unplug that cable and bring it over here? Uh, okay, but... But Well, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Damn it. That's no good then. Well, how about just the plug? What? The plug. Well, maybe more like a uh 
connector? It's a sort of thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies into a plug with two metal thingies. Still useless? Not useless. Not useless at all. That's just what we were looking for. Okay. Can you hold on for a little bit? And back down she goes. Don't be weird about it, Junpei. All right. <laughs> and back down she goes. Mm. She's 19. So. It's okay. It's fine. Unplugged. I'll hand it to you over at the bars, okay? You're not old enough to go to the bars. <gasps> Clover. <laughs> I love what I... <laughs> bars, you couldn't get in. <laughs> You're so funny, Dad. Here. The two-pronged plug. Please don't call me Dad again. <laughs> well, cracking a joke that you're... Making dad jokes. I know, I was making a joke back. I didn't like it, it's not funny. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. This is the two prong plug that we can use to convert the power cable from a three prong cable into a two pronged one. Uh huh. Yeah, we figured that out, Lotus. Okay. Put the two prong plug onto the head of this power cable. We got it. Calm down. Okay. Let's talk about it five times! We're not talking about it five times. All right, I've got the two prong power cable in my hand. I'm pretty sure this will work. Under the desk I go. And let's just plug this thing into the monitor. All right, that ought to do it. All right, let's turn the power on. Uh, I don't think anything's going to happen. Why not? Well, uh, it's not connected to the main computer. You never know until you try. Pretty optimistic. Well, you never know until you try. Oh, that more how she would have said it. What? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Yeah, I thought you were in Is college. Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Oh. Oh, it stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. On Lotus? my own. All right. Let's kick some ass. Oh, she's uh, a hacker now? Look at where his eyes are. <laughs> They're supposed to be on the keyboard. Let me do. Let me do. Whoa, Lotus. Words. You're really good at that hacking. Let's kick some ass. Whoa. Great hacking skills. You've got really big... H hacking skills. Thank you, Junpei. Eyes up here, Junpei. What? <laughs> didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't. You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. What kind of job do you have? What are you? I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Why? Huh? Oh, um... It was just something. I see. Like her daughters, daughters being disappearing. kidnapped. Yeah. Yeah. I see. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? 
A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. A lot of people use brute force programs to, like, run through every combination if they want to hack, like, a password or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> something rudimentary. No, oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. It's what were we talking about? To think about, like, those programs just, like, running. Mm -hmm. And depending on, like she said, how complex it is, it can take anywhere from, like, a couple hours to, like, months. Oh my god. Yeah. The wireless display? It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no. Not really. No, oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. It's just, I thought, maybe. What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Mmm, uh... Maybe the brain is just an output device. Like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications, we can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains, where we experience that information as thoughts. Um... The brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Huh. I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can't speak or see. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopagnosia? What? What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. 
Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Even though they've obviously got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The zoo staff that works with them would learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. But that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Ah, huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Don't take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do any more. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, all right? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. And make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. That was so, weird. Yeah. Make sure you know when to thank people. I think she's just kind of a mom. Yeah. But, uh, so real quick. Um, prosopagnosia is an actual condition. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, some famous people have suffered from it. Really? Like, uh, I think the most, the one that springs to mind, at least for me, is Jane Goodall. Really? Had prosopagnosia. Which might be why... Excuse me. Why? Why? Might be why she uh, bonded so quickly with monkeys. Hmm. Just Interesting. A, a theory, a game theory. Um, so yeah. I didn't know that. Isn't that kind of bizarre though? Not recognizing faces because like it comes so naturally to you and me. Right. But, no, I've thought about that quite a bit before looking yeah. into that. But what I thought was interesting was the brain being an output device, so all of her thoughts are actually happening elsewhere. Yeah, she's basically talking about a hive mind. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Like ants have, because ants have that. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. kind of interesting. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like it one little bit. Okay, so this is one of those puzzles where you click one square and every square adjacent to it turns the opposite. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I swear I... <laughs> I swear I wasn't trying to. Oh, okay, cool. I was just trying to show. <laughs> no, okay. you're, he did a good job, sweetie. Whatever. It's just yeah. funny. All right. I solved it. Did you hear a noise just now? Yeah, I did. It sounded like something unlocking. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Um. <gasps> the oh. lockers! Look, Junpei. The lights on the lockers are green. Then we must have unlocked it with the computer puzzle. Okay. There's more than one key in here. This one is small and looks like it goes to some sort of machine. And this one has the earth symbol on it. I think the earth symbol matches a keyhole in a door on the A deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the earth key right now. All right then. Earth key? I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. Now, as for the other key. What key is this? From the shape of it, I'd say it's not for the door. Probably some sort of device. Oh! What is it? 
I wonder. Do you think maybe this is the activation key for that thing? The activation key? Yes, it has to be. I feel good about this. Or that thing. Hey, so, Junpei, do you have a minute? Hang on, Clover. Hang on a goddamn second. So, uh, this weekend at PAX, we actually went to a panel um, about Japanese to US localization from the team that localized uh, at least the text for Danganronpa V3 mm -hmm. and uh, Toho mm -hmm. and a couple other games. Yeah, the. They're working on the trail. Trails of Cold Steel, Steel 3, Three. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, they were talking about um, how often they would come across instances where in Japanese they say, you know, that group or that, that man. person, that yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And they would have to try to make it make sense in English. And of course, it's always a little strange in English because we just don't talk like that. Right. Right. We don't. We don't talk about things like that but uh we tend to name things more yeah we tend yeah we tend to be more specific i guess yeah so it sounds a little odd like in danganronpa v3 when they're you know when it's got that yellow text and it's like that person or like that thing that event that happens yeah, yeah. that event you know you're sitting there like it sounds so stilted and weird <laughs> it just feels like but. they're trying to create more gameplay or they're trying like they're padding but it's yeah. just the way the language works just, yeah from what we but could understand. It was interesting because they talked about like a couple of specific examples from the games. It was really cool. Yeah, it was really neat. That was a really informative yeah. panel. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's talk about Clover. Hi. I, I it only sprung to mind because he said, or she said that thing. Yeah, I know. I there. thought about that too. Yeah. yeah. What's up? I um, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but... That's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if, uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. When he was a kid, he got in an accident, a really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. And his arm. His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is... Um... It's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they... They had to cut off his arm. Oh. <laughs> uh... Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. Oh. So, he, his left arm? Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Is his band, his, so his wristband must be on the right arm. Oh yeah, must be. Because it wouldn't be able to detect any sort of pulse or anything on the left. Hmm. And he could just take it off and be like, bye bitches. <laughs> it's like Ash from Evil Dead. Yeah. Yeah. The chainsaw arm now. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah. This key. The shape sure makes it seem like it goes to this machine. <laughs> All right. I'm turning it on. Okay, the monitor is on now. And it's full of letters. It's showing some kind of warning. Power restored to experimental device. Emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject behavior. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. We haven't really done much in here. 
Yeah, let's look at the machine up there. Yeah. Junpei! This thing in here is on now! Yeah, that's because we activated the power over on this side. Could you, like, play with it a little? Okay. Yeah. I'll turn this dial here. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Well, maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. Look at the creepy mannequin. It's a rack. There are a bunch of cables on it. Somebody cut the outer stuff off the cables. I can see the wires inside. There's something sticking out of the mannequin's head. Like, wires or something? What the hell were they doing in here? Huh? Why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans. Probably. Oh, man. Now she looks sad. Uh huh? Uh huh? Let's look at the papers. I don't know what kind of table this is, but part of it's all black. There's a pen lying over here. I think somebody probably used it to make the table black. Hmm. Well, uh, if they only used the pen on one part of it, there's probably something underneath all that pen. Clover. Do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh. This is a permanent marker. Junpei, do you know how to erase ink from a permanent marker? Erase ink from a permanent marker, huh? I have no idea. Uh, give me just a minute, Clover. I'll, I'll be right back. Well. Ooh. Clover, use this ethanol. You should be able to wipe off that permanent ink with it. What am I going to wipe with? Oh, well, your clothes, of course. Uh-uh. <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You're, you're scaring me. Turning more and more. I know, dead. I know. <laughs> Mr. Potter? Mr. Potter? Oh, Mary. 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 Oh, the kids. Clover, uh, can you use that cloth on that table? Use? Huh? Uh, soak it in ethanol and then use it to wash off all the stuff from the permanent marker, okay? Wait, where did he find a cloth? Her clothes. I don't oh. Know. Or no, there was a cloth in there, I think. Oh, okay. I, I, I can't remember what he just said. Yeah. Uh, trying to remember her voice again, sorry. Right, okay, so I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. Oh. Well, she's got the cloth, but... She seems to be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. When she's ready, I should ask her to get to work on that stuff on the table. She's trying! Soak the cloth in ethanol and... Junpei! It's working! It's wiping the permanent ink off! Huh? There's something kind of weird drawing on... There's some kind of weird drawing under all the permanent ink. What's the deal with that drawing Clover found? Maybe I should ask her to take another look at the table. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers in some kind of grid. Uh, I can't see it from here. Clover, uh, you've got a pen and a notebook, right? Could you write those numbers down and then hand them to me through the bars? Okay. Roger. Okay. Here, Junpei. I wrote down all the numbers from the desk on here. Hmm? I've seen something like this before. A grid divided into nine cells with four numbers. Maybe this is a hint for the computer puzzle. Oh, that we already beat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you going to need this? Um, yeah, maybe. I'll take it, just in case. Okay, hang on. Let me see. I think it's... Yeah. 
Oh, this tells us exactly. This is exactly what I did. Well, in a different order. One. Yeah. Two, three, four. Okay. I did. The, I did two, four, three, one. That's interesting. That's funny. Okay. Well. Cool. Maybe if you increase the voltage. Roger. Will do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage. M max voltage? <laughs> hey, high voltage. I don't know that song. It's a Lincoln Park song. Wait, Clover. Ah, shit. Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. God, what the hell? Fire detected, fire detected. The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Did the door unlock? Sounded like it. Oh my oh, God. It the green light is on. Junpei, look at the light. Yes, it's green. The emergency system has activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Junpei! Come on, kid, jump. She's safe. Oh man, that smoke is some serious business. Time to close this door again, I think. Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Of course I'm not all right. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I am, I was almost dead. Sorry, I, I was going as fast as I could. You two can do this later. Right now we need to get the hell out of here. That fire's not gonna stay in that room forever. Okay. <laughs> mm, she has a point. No, she doesn't. You found oh, it! I found it! That was a weird last puzzle. <sighs> Whew, thank God we got out of there. You're a weird last puzzle. You're a weird last puzzle. You're a weird last puzzle. And you like me. Yeah. Finally. Come back. Come back. <laughs> I like the idea of being like. <laughs> I thought you would like that. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> So dumb. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? The best prize. June? Speaking of prize. Santa! Bum, seven! Bum, da, da, oh. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Isn't that what I said? We yeah. are going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. And that's how the nonary game works. Wait cool. a sec. This leads to... Okay, so you get the idea. We'll just go ahead and let you know if there's anything new. Oh! W wait! 
What? Uh, I'm not really, uh, I just, uh, oh gosh. Let's say being locked up alone with a boy. People have been bugging us to do this one, so here we go. Well, um, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never... You know. It's your first time? I might... Get wet. You guys. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. She's talking about the water. But it sounds but like he thinks she's talking about inappropriate. <laughs> Y'all broke John. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's true. <sighs> you don't mind? Oh my god! Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy. You're so brave! Really? I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do, I guess. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be over. Uh, over? Yes. We'll go to heaven. Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space, and your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, uh, yes. I've, I've heard that too. Although, I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? Huh? But it would happen to men, too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it, eventually. What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh... Huh. Oh... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D deck is completely underwater. God. 
keep going. <laughs> An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. He was so confused. He thought she was talking about hey, sex. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? He thought she was talking about S-E-X. She was talking about drowning. She was talking about the dirty stuff. She was talking about drowning. Not, um, well, you know what? yes, I guess it did. <laughs> but he thought she was talking about, you know what? That which must not be named. <laughs> the stuff we don't talk about. It's inappropriate. The S word. The nasty. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. It was entertaining though, all jokes aside. Yeah. It was entertaining. It was kind of funny. It was. It was kind of funny. Only because it went on for so long. Yeah. <laughs> there was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, but the rest of this is the same. Yes. So, take a look inside. I wonder if I can skip. <gasps> Please skip. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's gonna skip. Oh. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, it's skipping. <laughs> it's skipping. I do wish I knew it would fast forward their voices. So, be like, <laughs> C deck. That's how June always says it. C deck. Up C on C deck. Well, C deck. Really wet up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can. Once we're done looking around down here. Oh my God. Oh. New line of dialogue. So we've been through six and we've been through two. Did we ever find door one? Yeah, we went through one. That okay. was the one with the uh, chart room. Where Ace kept making bad jokes. Yeah. So we've gone through all the rooms now, right? Yeah, we've gone through all the rooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Snake is dead. It's very tragic. Yeah. We still don't know who killed him. Dun, dun. I thought someone was knocking on the door. No. Yeah. Yeah, so then they're talking about how it probably happened. And then we get to decide if uh, if he's still on this ship with us. Yeah, of course, which we've answered before. <laughs> Zero's one of us! What? Uh, That's crazy. Oh. oh. I don't want to have to read new dialogue. Okay. Especially when it's just like Junpei being like, oh, what? that's crazy. And then Lotus being like, no, it's not. Here's why. Ba -da -da -da. And yeah. Then, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. So I think we're going to get to the next choice. Okay. Next big choice. Between door one, door two, and door six. Which one will we choose? I don't want to go through one again. We won't. We'll go through door six, I believe. I think it's six, at least. We'll double check the flow chart when we're yeah. done with this. Okay. It says door two hasn't been chosen because last time we went through door two, it was because we went through door three. And we didn't uh... get this we didn't get this choice. Um so let's go ahead and save right here. Alright, uh we can't look at the flowchart. Mm. All right, well, whatever. We're going to go through door six in the next uh, video posted tomorrow. Sounds great. Think critically.